new chairman of the English Football Association has called for the 2022 World Cup to be either delayed or moved because it'll be too hot in Qatar in the summer. Greg Dyke says playing the tournament then will be impossible for fans. Dan Roan has more. The 2022 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. <laughs> It was the moment that shocked world football and two and a half years after FIFA awarded the World Cup to Qatar, it remains one of the most controversial issues in the game. The FA's new chairman, Greg Dyke, has spoken out against the current plans for the 2022 tournament, insisting it must be played in a different part of the world or at a different time of the year because of the extreme 50 degree summer heat in the Middle Eastern country. FIFA had agreed that matches could be played in air-conditioned stadia, but the most powerful man in the English game now wants a rethink for the sake of visiting fans. Dyke believes a winter tournament is more likely than sensationally taking it away from Qatar, but his dramatic intervention will frustrate the Premier League, who are vehemently opposed to rescheduling, saying it would cause chaos to the club calendar and require a ten-week hiatus in the middle of the season. Corruption allegations have plagued the Arab state's bid, but Qatar say they did nothing wrong and are pressing ahead with a first World Cup in the desert in nine years' time. But with FIFA president Sepp Blatter hinting at a decision on the issue in October, the pressure is mounting for a dramatic change of plan. The fallout could be as litigious and divisive as anything the game has seen. Greg Dyke was speaking at a gathering of 40 or so senior football correspondents, sports editors, broadcasters. Almost all the occasion was off the record. This bit, three minutes or so, before we sat down for lunch, was on the record, so we've made quite clear there's something to report. He referred occasionally to notes, but essentially speaking off the cuff. He, he knew we would report this. We were mm -hmm. encouraged to report it. I think he's trying to spark a, a debate, and he, he said um, that he, he spoke from personal experience. Let me give you a little, little flavour of, uh, of what he said. Here we go. Um, I don't know how many people here have ever been to Qatar in June. I have, and the one thing I can tell you is you couldn't play a football tournament in Qatar in June. We had a bit of an intake of breath there, we realised how strong he was going to be. Mm. I think my position, and I suspect the FA's position, will be you can't play it in the summer in Qatar. FIFA therefore has got two choices. You either move it time-wise or you move it to another location. I suspect either ends up in some sort of litigation. Um, so he's accepting, he thinks it's probably unlikely they will give it to a, another country. Of course there were others who, who wanted it in 2022. Or they move it to the winter and the views of the Premier League and a lot of the other major European leagues are very strongly that you can't do that. Uh, Scudamore himself addressed the issue when he spoke to the media in Hong Kong uh, a few weeks ago.